Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy King Jaffe Joe 413 back with another one for you. What's going on guys? I miss you guys. My subscribers, my family. How have you guys been? Let me know in the comments how y'all been. I've been chilling, I've been chilling, you know what I'm saying? We had a lot of rainy days out here, so not a lot of riding going on. 90 today, so I'm out here. And hey, if this is your first time, hit that subscribe button. You know what I'm saying? Why not? Why not? Nah, but uh, what's going on guys? What's going on? What's going on? Nice day out here. So, I don't know guys. Take a, uh, my mic might sound a little different. I had to do a little changeover and switch my helmet around a little bit. Had to move the mic position. Uh, if you look at my camera, you notice that it has this big thing on the bottom for the uh, mic adapter. I had that on the side right here. And uh, it was there for about a year. And for some reason, I went out one day for a ride and uh, I got no audio. So I'm like, holy shoot, what happened? So I checked that part and it was uh, bad. So I put a new one in because I had an extra one. So I stuck it on here. And if you see my last videos, last like two or three videos, it, kept, it was hanging because it, it fell down and I kept trying to put it back up. I kept trying to put it back up here and uh, it kept falling off. So I just let it hang for that ride, and then I, that night I grabbed, I ordered this off of uh, Amazon, the mic adapter holder. So what it does is it puts my camera up a little bit higher. I don't know if that's going to be a better view for you guys. And uh, it actually adds a lot of weight to the sticky thing on the side here. So it's a lot, it's a lot heavier. So I'm not sure how good the sticky thing is going to hold up because they are the. Uh, Amazon Chinese version from the accessory kit they got 50 piece accessory kit so I don't know how good they're gonna hold up but if not I have some of that uh, sugar uh, it's uh, moldable glue you put that on there and once that gets hard there's no getting it off well you can get it off but it's really hard we actually had to use some of that on A's helmet when he put a camera on his helmet for a while because uh, his helmet has the curve the curvature of the helmet wasn't right for the bracket even the curve bracket the curvature was too much so we had to use that stuff to fill in the gaps and stuff and it was on there good it was on his helmet good and then one day we were going to go do a video when i was going to put a camera on his helmet for uh his view and the clip on it broke so we got it on there forever but the clip broke so i ended up having to get that off i used a knife and peeled it off and got it off for him and I got to get him another one on there so we can get some more footage from his view. I think you guys liked it that when I did that that time. Well, when we did that that time. But yeah. Uh, actually, and I honestly, uh, I got this here. The uh, housing for the, uh, the Hero 5. I mean, the Session 5. Because the one I had, one of the little black tabs broke off of it. So, I was going to get a new one. And I was looking at the plastic ones. And then I was like, eh. I might as well get a metal one. So, you know what I'm saying? If the, if the broke off on that one for some reason, it's probably going to happen again. Get a metal one. A little bit better, you know what I'm saying? Today, right now, I'm actually going to my brother's house because I ordered him a saw, a jigsaw, from my job. He had it on, he seen it on Amazon for a hundred bucks, hit me up like, yo, can you get me one of these for your job? I took down a work computer and we had it for $42. So... I'm gonna go drop this off at my brother. And then after that, I'm gonna go take a ride to RC Madness in Enfield, Connecticut. That's a, a RC shop, hobby shop. They have a indoor track, they have outdoor tracks. They sell drones, they sell nitro, they sell electric. Uh, I gotta stop over there because I have a Stampede 4x4 and uh, uh, the yokes on it the uh, yokes for the drive shaft the axles the yokes are um bent up and messed up because i was dashing a little bit so i'm getting some new one of those i have a, a trackless rustler 
with the Mamba Monster set up, so it's a 100 mile per hour rustler. I have one of those. I've been having that one probably for about, uh, probably 13 years. And uh, I just want to give it a little update, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to put a new chassis on it and clean her up. She's, she's, she's dirty, she's beat up, you know what I'm saying? Once I got it to 100 miles per hour, I really wasn't taking care of it. I was just going fast, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I have uh, a Traxxas uh, E-Revo 116 that needs some new shocks. I'm actually gonna just gonna price the shocks because I'm really not trying to spend that much money today. Uh, what else do I have? I have a, uh, oh, I have a, a Traxxas Lay, uh, La Traxxas, the little 118 scale joints. I've had that, I bought that for my girlfriend, but uh, the batteries died so fast, so I'm gonna grab, probably grab a couple of new batteries for that. I actually have uh, a Red Cat, uh, Red Cat, it's not a nitro, it's a nitro car, but it's Red Cats, not a Traxxas. I'm trying to get a Traxxas Jado 3.3, but it's like $450, you know what I'm saying? And like, $450, like, sheesh. And I actually, I'm like, I wanna, you know what I'm saying? I wanna bring the channel to the next level, so. Like my brother told me that I should get another camera to put it on the side for rear views. So I'm thinking about getting another uh, GoPro Hero 7 for that. But I'm also thinking about uh, Insta360 One R. So I want you guys to let me know what you think I should get. Should I get another GoPro and do a rear view? So I'll have three views. I have one me, one to the rear. So if A's behind me, get some shots of him and then the one in front. Or should I get an uh, Insta360 and probably stick it off the side where I can probably edit it to get the back shots and the front shots, some passes, which I know there's a lot of shots I can get with that thing that I probably wouldn't get with the GoPro. But the thing I don't know is can I edit that video because obviously like i when i when i researched that the insta 360 it sucks to edit on a computer so mainly you got to edit on the phone like they focus their editing uh abilities to be on the phone so if i do it on the phone then i have to export it out to the computer which is not a problem but i'm wondering if once i export it can i use that video with gopro video you know what i'm saying chop that up put some gopro video chop it up put them together and make an awesome video i don't want to buy the insta 360 and i can't do that because then i'm just going to be posting the regular ride videos that i do now and then a separate like 360 cam videos which i'm not really trying to do i'm just trying to make the video. videos i make now better I'm not trying to post like a whole different kind of video but uh, you guys let me know what you think. Anyone have any knowledge on the Insta360? If you have one or have any knowledge on the editing process or anything like that, let me know. And, yeah, guys, let me know. No, three cameras and Insta should it be Insta360 or should I just get another GoPro? If I get another GoPro, it'd be used for side mounts, rear mounts, uh, maybe a couple front different front views from like down near the A-arms or something like that. Uh, mounting on A's uh, helmet sometimes so I don't I don't I, I just don't know what to do and the thing is the Insta360 like 429 you know what I'm saying and uh, GoPro Hero 7 229 wondering why I'm not like mentioning the GoPro Hero 8 because I don't like the little feet things on the bottom that I don't like those That's like the one. playing the people that own that is uh the feet things on the bottom so I don't think I'm interested in that but that is actually just like three like 329 or something like that I'm actually hoping that the audio is working because I haven't tested the setup since I redid it and I hope it's good. Before I had the microphone out underneath the padding on the side a little bit more, I had it underneath more 
now it's out towards the mouth a little bit more so maybe my uh, speech should be a little louder but the thing is I don't know if the wind noise from the helmet is going to be louder as well I think guys I'm thinking about starting a little, little segment in my uh, videos or maybe maybe just make uh, like compilations of me catching people texting and driving so Massachusetts is a hands-free state you're not supposed to have your phone in your hand and where I'm going Connecticut is also a uh, hands-free state Stop wearing this vest on hot hot days the thing i don't like about this vest is it's velcro from the side so it's pretty tight so you don't have no space between here for air like my other vest it has this little bag here so you get air between the vest and your stomach so you don't get that swamp belly you know when you get that little puddle on your on your stomach swamp belly swamp belly is uh related to swamp ass And you don't only get swamp belly for riding. Trust me. I've sat at the beach and caught swamp belly. You want to know how you know if your girl's a damn chick? I want to tell you how. If you get swamp belly and you can get her to drink your swamp belly out of your belly, she down. She down. I ain't going to kiss her no more, but she a rider. <laughs> Ah. Oh, look at it. I see a spider. I see a spider. So, right here, we call this the roller coaster. Right here, right here. Woo, woo, whoa. Oh, almost lost the whole bag on that one. Brother's house. Remember that video on the BMW dipping on me? It was his. It was his. Oh, you ringing? You looking at me, bro? What's good? What's good, fool? Rata -ta -ta. Rata, I need that. <laughs> I was going for a ride. I said, oh, let me drop it off real quick. I'm about to go to RC Madness and get. I actually sat there the whole time with my helmet on, guys. My head is sweating. Spare Road. I used to chill on this road back in the day. My boy used to live here. My boy Mike. Ms. Zyke used to live there. This house right here. Oh no, this one right here. At one time, no one lived in that house. Me and my boys used to chill in there. This house, someone never lived there. One time, no one lived there. We used to chill in there. This house right here. One time, no one lived in that house. And we used to chill in the shed. They had a shed in the backyard. And we used to we made that like a little chill, chill spot. And we used to go there and chill, right? So one day, me and my boys, it wasn't even me and my boys, it was me. My boys were supposed to be meeting me there. So I go there and I'm in the shed, you know what I'm saying? Chilling, waiting for my boys, and then none of them come, right? So I go to my boy's house and uh I go to my boy's house to meet up with him, like, yo, where y'all was at? All of a sudden I pull up to my boy's house. The cops pull up to me. I'm like, oh no. Right? Cops pull up to me. I was like, oh, were you in that house over there? You know what I'm saying? Checked me out. I was like, nah, I just wanted to go look at something and made up some why, you know. And then eventually uh, he took my name and stuff and then he ran my name and came up. I had a warrant, a warrant for my arrest. So I got arrested that day. Um, warrant was a bench warrant, so I was supposed to go to court for like a driving license or something like that, and I didn't go, so I had a bench warrant. So I ended up going to jail that day. It probably was like 12 o'clock in the afternoon, and I had like uh, like 30 hours on me, 
And like in Massachusetts, the bail is usually like $40. And I had like $30 on me. So they uh, arrested me, kept me in jail all the way until like one in the morning. And then one in the morning comes, the bail bondsman come in and was like, oh, we'll take that $30 if you want to get let out. So I could have stayed in jail and went to court the next day and had $30 in my pocket or give them the $30 and get out of jail. So you know what I did is I gave them the $30 and got out of jail and I had to walk home probably uh, like eight, nine miles. Yep. I got a little jet ski there, huh? You a little jet ski? Huh? You a little jet ski? A little jet ski? A little jet ski there, huh? Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. place right here called a Monday that's what it's called called a Monday it used to be called Milton Bradley and it used to be called Hasbro it was actually both of those at different times Welcome to RC Madness, guys. Cancel. You guys, RC car. Cancel. <laughs> Inside tracks, outside tracks, rock climbing courses. Oh my goodness. This is crazy. I was just looking at this car today. Just looking at that car today. <laughs> 